They don't make them like they used to. Certainly <laughs> applies to that genre of singers. We are calling the crooners, and Boyd Matson this week and has been profiling them today. One of the best. Vic Damone. And Vic Damone says he doesn't like to hear that uh, his type of singer doesn't sell records anymore. He claims they can't sell when they aren't being recorded. To him, it's a catch-22 situation. See, with no records in the stores, people can't buy them, and when they don't buy them, the companies say they aren't selling them, so they won't record the crooners. Even though a lot of people still like to listen to singers like Vic Damone. The cruise ship Star Ward in Miami. Here crooners still reign supreme. On a moonlit night in the Caribbean, How people want their I music romantic. You? With a beat designed for I'll dancing cheek to cheek, no they'll let the waves provide the only rocking How and rolling. It's an ideal setting ocean? for a singer like Vic Damone. How high is the sky? How many times a day do I think of you? I like to have the people get up and dance while I sing, because that's what it's all about. I feel that that's what my job is, is to be able to create a mood, a romantic mood, you know, for the people. And I want the, the men to know that I'm there just as a messenger. In other words, I'm there trying to get the two of them together. I'm not trying to steal their girls or steal their wives. All I want to do is to create a good mood for them. Must you dance? For more than 35 years, Damone has been entertaining people in nightclubs, concert halls, in movies, and on television. But after all his success, he is not yet comfortable in the spotlight. I don't really like to perform. It's diff there's a difference, you know, being in show business and, and, and being a singer, just being very musical. If I could just, uh, just, if I could sometimes, I've, I've said this in the past, and I, and I mean it, if I could just sing in a club or sing somewhere without a spotlight, I'd sing a hundred times better. In 62 and 63, Damone was performing in a national spotlight as host of the NBC show, The Lively Ones. Little girl, you're the one girl for me, little girl. Singing in front of millions of people every week was possible because of Damone's first performance before an audience of one in an elevator. Damone was the operator, Perry Como was the passenger. And I asked him to listen to me sing. I said, look, you know, we can't afford the money, and I've got to take, I'm taking lessons every, every week, and I want you to listen to me, and you tell me if you think I've got something, something that you feel, uh, uh, if I have any talent as a singer, as an artist. And so I stopped. He said, sure, go ahead and sing. So I stopped the elevator between floors, and I sang. I sang a song called, There must be a way to help me forget that we're through. There must be a way to stop me from dreaming of you. He said, hey, pal, you're not bad. He said, I think you ought to get out of that uniform and you ought to start singing professionally. That turned out to be great advice. The success in his singing career has enabled Damone to replace his elevator uniform with a wardrobe so large it makes his closet look like a clothing store. Probably half his clothes are golfing outfits. Whether at home in Houston or on tour, Damone tries to play golf several times a week. I want to be around to pick up the pieces after you miss that putt. Another hobby Damone pursues, both at home and on the road, is cooking. In the beginning, it was simply a way to avoid overdosing on coffee shops. Now it's a way to spend some time with his daughters. At this point in his career, Damone places more importance on maintaining his family life than getting hit records. Hey. When one of my daughters comes over to me and says, Daddy, I love you, and comes over and gives me a hug and a kiss, that's like a three standing ovations for me. Just a smile or just a wink or just a, a hug is very important to me. Must you dance every day? Despite his desire to be with his family, Damone has not slowed down his pace on the road. He travels and performs as much as ever. You have danced with him since the music began. Won't you change partners? Not you. Dance with me. The schedule is kept full because there are a lot of people who still prefer Damone's style of music and are willing to pay to hear it in concert.
The night after his cruise ship performance, Damone was entertaining several thousand fans in Detroit. But even with this continued audience support, Damone, like most crooners today, can't get a recording contract. If happy little birds fly beyond the rainbow, why? Leaves me breathless. 